Just letting you know, I go on a very big rant in this game, mostly towards the end, because this episode contains things that I think people should be aware about. Uh, it's mainly related to abusive relationships and abusive partners. So be prepared for a rant at some point in this episode. Uh, and also, if you've ever been in an abusive relationship, uh, just be warned if it brings up like any PTSD or anything, because it's infuriating. And I'm sorry to anyone who's ever gone through it, through with it. Uh, so just letting you know, giving you a heads up, because I feel like I need to give a heads up, because this game is heavy. It's a lot of heavy topics. This one is very... It, it, it hits. It hits. Very much hits. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, keep an eye out. It's, uh, towards the end when the boyfriend, Jack, is the new topic of discussion. So, thank you for that. Thank you for listening. Bye. What's up everyone, Crit Prince here, and welcome back to Sea of Solitude. Uh, let us, woo, continue on. Baby. Oh, wow, okay. I know things have been tough lately. Right I off the bat. You. Sunny and Kay miss you. You're never here. What am I supposed to do? It took me forever to get this opportunity. <laughs> I'm just supposed to quit now? No. This could be our chance to do all the things we've talked about. We could finally build the life we want. I love my life. I do too. I do. I'm proud of you. I hope you know that. You're way too aggressive to be proud. What if we just left? Oh. Vivian. I'm serious. What's keeping us here? Your children? Your children? Sell, the house. Sell all our things. So we're gypsies now. We can take the boat and just sail away. And go where? We'll follow the wind. Don't stop till we hit land. A deserted island. Yes. Regular Swiss family Robinson. Wait, is your last name Robinson? Robinson? R Roberto. Is this your house? Because that's actually a bomb ass house. Oh, and the little car. I think it's a great idea. We can sleep on the sand under the stars. You can teach the kids how to fish. And when the wind changes, we'll sail on. I wouldn't mind seeing you in a swimsuit every day. Why can't we? Oh, Viv, please. We can be happy. But just Is that a skateboard? Nice. Like, this is cute as fuck. I doubt- I, I don't think this is actually their house. This is probably what they dreamed about. They knew. Both of them, they could see it coming. They couldn't get away from it. <laughs> what, the inevitable- Why did you get that? Never want to talk. If we can't communicate, then that's it. We might as well call it. Well, what's happening? Oh, we miss Mom, you. Dad, Kay, wake up, wake up, let's play. Woo! Uh, no, no, don't threaten me with that. Is that it? You want to talk, but you're not. Let's go! Kid, shut up. You don't want me to be honest. I don't want to fight! Kid, Kid shut here. up. Shut up. Wait, hey, fuck off. Yeah, fuck off, kid. Yeah. 
Okay, so parents are facing I'm off. Are you done? Stop pushing me, I'm telling you. Adam, answer the question. Are you really this unhappy? Oh god. Don't touch me, kids. Don't touch me. That's right, you fucking spawns of Satan. This is rough, though. Having this conversation is never easy. Oh, God. Come here. Come here. Little shit for brain. Let's go. Uh, right here. Children, hush. <sighs> was happy, but it wasn't enough for you, was it? What? What the hell does that mean? We had so many plans. But you, you had to have a family. What? You were talking about kids all the time. Not all the time. I mean, I was in love with you. I can't believe you. We're rewriting history Why now. Don't you hear each other? You're on the same side. Why isn't it enough? Can't you make it work? I'm just gonna keep blasting off flares at this point. Where- buddy. Buddy. This one- this one fucking kid. Okay, I was like, this one kid is just fucking not coming. Okay, that's another memory. Let's go! Okay, here's another memory. Oh god. This is just- it's- I wanna be like it's rough, but the fact is, like, you- you say dumb shit when you're in love. You do anything- Anything for the person you love, but you gotta be reasonable. If you don't want kids, so you don't kiss. You were lying about what kids? I'm not saying I didn't want much. You wouldn't wait. Nobody forced you to stick around. Excuse me. If you didn't want this, you should have had the balls to say so. Or at least walk away and not waste my time. I'm just gonna abandon my family. I love my kids. Why can't you be happy? Why aren't we enough? Oh god, there's so many gremlins. Again! Not your fault. You did not ask to be born. Again, children are not at fault for unhappy parents. Okay, collected that. Oh god. Oh god, you're doing the thing. Oh, you're doing the thing. Okay. Ow. Ha! <laughs> Smoked y'all. Cause you're right there. And I, I... I'm trying to think of commentary, but it's hard when this is like just emotional shit, like... Loved you, but we're not happy. 
kids don't deserve this. That it's stupid. This constant tension. I wake up resenting you. I go to bed resenting you. I, I don't want that. Makes me hate myself. If we're apart, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we can actually be parents again. No, no, Kay, Kay, Princess. That's what the dad looks like. What the fuck? Mom kind of makes sense. Dad was not- I was not expecting this man to be the father. <laughs> but I like the dad shorts. Oh, he got the dad loafers. Uh, big dad energy here. So the family's back together? Dad, you let go. I wanted you to have answers. You always seemed so much bigger. It was hard seeing you as people. It was more than just parents. Confused and searching. <laughs> What more do I have to do? Alright, so we're just gonna follow the boat again like we did with Sunny. So that means Sunny's... I don't actually know the fate of her family. Like, I know Sunny's more or less fine now. He's on the boat with them. Her parents are on the boat. Which means... I don't know. I don't know what it means, man. Like, I wish I knew what it meant. Also, trying not to get super close to the boat. Cause it's not your job to fix I mean, it. Give up. Pretty easily. They love each other. I know they do. How can you just give up on that? Because love does not. I don't give a shit what anyone says. Love does not fix anything. You have to communicate. You have to work. Th if things stop working for whatever reason, it stops working. You cannot keep it going. Everything is this snowing. Oh, yeah, that's ice now. Oh, nobody gets me but you. Should I end the episode here? God, I'm very slouchy. I'm also very slouchy. No, we're gonna keep going. I'm here. I'm over. What? I, I don't understand. I'm Am I... so happy you're here. Wait for me. Is that me? God, this is a lot of ice, man. What an environment change, honestly. Where's the monster, though? Because the monster is supposed to be K. Or... Kind of K. I don't know. Wow. 
<laughs> Kay, I miss you so much. Who are you? It's you. I miss you so much. I have so much I want to tell you. I've learned so much about myself. What? What's wrong? The artwork is so nice. Why would you do that? I, I'm sorry. Wait. Don't go. What did I do? Please. I'm so sorry. Jack, what? What did I do? What just happened? Ah, uh, yes. I have a shield. Fuck you. You needed me. You said you'd fall apart without me. It felt good to be needed. To put you back together. See, I have an innate need to feed, uh, fix people in relationships. That's just who I am. I It's bad. Uh, but if I ever have someone, honest to God, be like, I'd fall apart without you, I'd be like, good. Fall apart. Because at this point... I know I said I didn't want to rush things. Things get messy. It's okay. There's no pressure. I don't. No. I want this. This is real. I can't stand thinking of you being with anyone else. It makes me sick. I get sick. I love you. What? Aren't you? Okay. To my life so quickly I was dizzy I never expected you and then suddenly we were together there's a lot of red flags here a lot of red flags just saying most intelligent and thoughtful and I spiked my mic I'm sorry there's so many things not good already with uh Hey, what's Go up? Away. You don't understand. Why won't you listen? Why are you a hermit crab? That's my question. I'm done listening to you. It's too late. You only hurt yourself. He's here, and I can help him. All right, again. We're not here trying to fucking fix people. I was just here. Oh, because I had to wait for the dialogue, probably. Uh. Uh. All the way fucking up there, are you serious? Alright. I how old is Kay? Cause again, red flag alert of relationships here, but actually, you know what? Again, not surprised because generational red flaggage. Your parents aren't happy. You end up in a weird relationship. Think things of that nature. I will not let you stand between us. I mean, she probably has the self confidence of like. What if there's nothing you can do? But if you did everything you could. I'm not giving up. It's a lot of, lot of yelling here. I like it because I am also a yeller. 
I tend to yell, but... Uh, wee. Thank God for no fall damage. Wee. Otherwise I'd be fucked. Considering how much I jump off of shit. So Jack's the... Why... Why gotta be the name Jack, though? But Jack's the boyfriend, I guess. And apparently Kay hurt him. Uh... But he's also, like, obsessive, so I don't feel bad. That's something I don't feel bad about. Faux sure. show. Hey, go away. Go away. I'm here doing stuff. What was I doing? There's a ah! Okay, right there. Right there, apparently. <laughs> Education connection! You're just trying to confuse me! Oh, nice, I landed on that. I need to go into the weird cave. Get out of my way, hermit crab K. Okay? What about your parents? What happened to them? Uh, they were dumb. They love each other. They try to make it work. He needs me. What if this isn't love? What if this is something else? I mean... I love him now. Move. I mean, it definitely seems a little bit uh something else. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't have a choice. You're wrong. You'll see. I mean, I'm on the monster side for this. Hey. Hey. Bye. <laughs> Uh, I'm on the monster side. I think it's something else because this seems hella sketch. I don't like the words he uses. They're red flag words. What's up? I am so sorry. I don't know what happened. It's okay. I know. You look beautiful. Oh. Thank you. Are you okay? You were worrying me. I thought maybe... Don't do that! Don't talk to me like I'm sick! No. No, that's not what I mean. I... I never know what might set you off. Red flag! Oh, I told you! Shells. Trying to put out fires before they start. Listen, number one red flag, number two to my viewers, to let you know if you are ever in a fucking abusive relationship, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna Hang on. PSA moment here. Not PSA, but like, kind of PSA. Basically, announcement, okay? If you ever find yourself in a relationship where you are thinking... I don't know what will set my partner off. I do not know what will set them off. I feel like I have to walk on eggshells. I feel like I have to watch everything I say. Those three things right there, you are in a fucking abusive relationship. Whether it could not be, it could be absolutely not physical, but you are in an emotionally and mentally abusive relationship, all right? If you feel the need to walk on eggshells and you don't know what's gonna set off person, and like they clap back like just if they compliment you and then you say one thing and then they yell at you and like like Jack just did basically like Jack was like oh you look beautiful and then Kay was like oh thank you you had me like you're worrying me and then he was like don't talk to me like I'm sick like that switch abusive do not fuck with it save yourself trauma and pain and don't fuck with it anyways Back to our regular scheduled program. And that's why he's like the white wolf, but it's black on the inside now because it's his true self. Oh, Dad, what is wrong with you? Why do you have to be so negative all the time?
What? Why are you sizzling at me? What about what he wants? Yeah, another part of his relationship. Yeah, one per- he's not perfect. He's not perfect, he's a piece of sh- I'm fine. Please stop asking me that. I can't stand it when you keep asking me if I'm okay. I left because I wanted to. Okay, we were all just wondering if you- It was boring. All those people are full of shit. They're all hypocrites. They're our friends. They love you. I just... I can't stand around making small talk. I can't pretend. There are more important things going on in the world. Oh, you realize that? I... Okay. I'm sorry. Wanna just go to bed? Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm tired of your shit, Jack. Tired of goddamn fucking shit. I'm heated. This game has made me heated because it's t important topics. It's topics that I've, I've experienced. It's. <sighs> ah! Okay. Might need to take a little break after this this recording because I'm a little. I'm a little jazzed up now. Uh. I don't even know what to say. Uh. At first, I was like, oh, did something just, like, was it her own anxieties that caused the relationship to end between Jack? No, he's a fucking narcissist. He's a fucking abusive asshole. Fuck him. Fuck Jack. Unless your name's Jack, then you're probably cool. But fuck Jack in this game. Don't like him. Ooh. Uh. He did as fuck right now. Okay. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Apologies for my little rant, but I felt like it was a uh, necessary part. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you'd like to see more from me, hit subscribe. And I will see you all. If you like this video, leave a like. If you'd like to see more from me, hit subscribe. And until next time, stay awesome, everyone. Bye-bye.